Hello students. Before starting practice set two, I want you all to write these points in your notebook and then proceed with practice set two. Either you can write these sentences beside the diagram which we have drawn in last session, or you can write after the diagram wherever space is there. Not a problem. You can write after the diagram. It says zero angle always measures zero degree. Right angle always measures ninety degree. Straight angle always measures one eighty degree. Complete angle always measures three sixty degree. Also, acute ac acute angle is greater than zero degree and less than ninety degree. Obtuse angle is always greater than ninety degree and less than one eighty degree. Reflex angle is always greater than one eighty degree and less than three sixty degree. So first, write this part in your notebook and then proceed with practice set two. Again, I am saying you all can write this beside the diagram. Like for acute angle, you can write this beside the acute angle if there is space. If there is no space, you all can write uh, below the diagrams. Fine. Now let's start with practice set two. Practice set two is very simple. Based on our previous session, we just have to guess the type of angles throughout the practice set. Now, question number one says measure of the angle is one column. We have to match. First column is measure of the angle. Second column is type of angle. Now we know how to write match the following answers. Either first write left column and in front of that you all can write correct answer or you can write the way I am going to write now. Both options are correct. You can use any way which is easier for you to understand. First one is one eighty degree. So one eighty degree is which type of angle? Straight angle. Correct. So one dash. B. We'll put a comma here. Next, two forty degree. So two forty degree is greater than one eighty degree and less than three sixty degree. This comes. This becomes reflex angle. So two dash C. Next is three sixty degree. Yeah, we know this is complete angle. So third. Dash D, and lastly zero degree is a zero degree is a zero angle. Very easy. Now same thing we have to repeat for question number two and question number three, but in a different way. Question number two says write type of each angle. Right, we have to write the type of angle by the measurements given below. There are eight questions. You all can see. First one is seventy-five degree. Very easy. Seventy-five is less than ninety degree means it is acute angle. We have to just write acute angle. That's it. Done. Yes, very easy. Second is zero degree. Zero degree means zero angle. Done. Now next, two hundred and fifteen degree. Two hundred and fifteen is greater than one eighty, less than three sixty. Means it is reflex angle. Correct. Next, three sixty degree. Three sixty degree is a Complete angle. Next, one eighty degree. One eighty degree is a straight angle. Next, one twenty degree. One twenty degree is an obtuse angle. Yeah. Greater than ninety and less than one eighty, so it is an obtuse angle. Next one forty eight again greater than ninety degree, less than 
वन एटी डिग्री सो अगेन इट इज एन ऑप्टिज एंगल लास्टली नाइंटी डिग्री वी ऑल नो नाइंटी डिग्री इज अ राइट एंगल या इजी सेम वे वी हैव टू डू फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री यर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मेजर्स वर गिवन बट इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री डायग्राम्स आर गिवन फ्रॉम द डायग्राम वी हैव टू मेक आउट विच टाइप ऑफ एंगल्स दे आर या सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सेज लुक एट द फिगर्स बिलो एंड राइट टाइप ऑफ ईच ऑफ द एंगल्स नाउ फर्स्ट वन वी ऑल कैन सी from the diagram itself that it is an acute angle you all can see now remember don't forget to see this arrow part it has major importance you will come to know for further diagrams yeah so this is which angle acute angle that's it done yeah and one more thing you kids will be wondering whether we have to draw this diagram or not yes you kids have to draw these diagrams and in front of that or below that you will be writing the answer next is now remember for right angle every time the square box will be drawn whenever you see a square box straight away write that it is a right angle even if there is a slightly curve means it is not 90 degree slightly curve part indicates either angle is 91 degree or 89 degree but for right angle it will always be a square or a box type thing drawn here now we can see this is a square or a box type thing so di directly i am going to write right angle yeah next see this now this i was saying the arrow part which i was telling you all to concentrate this is our first arm this is our second arm now arrow shows your down part not the inner side suppose arrow was in inner side let me show you see here this is one arm and this is second arm of angle this means that this is the base part and the second arm has moved from your to your this is the base and the base arm and this arm has moved from your to your since arrow points here means this arm has moved from this arm till your that means it has extended straight angle right this arm has extended the straight angle so when it goes beyond the straight angle this is a reflex angle now suppose i am showing your only suppose instead of this part imagine this part is not there this arrow is given means this is the base one and this is the second arm so the second arm moves from moves from your till your so which angle it will be yeah it will be obtuse angle so that's why i told you to concentrate on the arrow right see where the arrow points only this much then it is obtuse angle now this is extending from your to your so it is a reflex angle okay let's move ahead yeah the next one again we all can see one base arm and another base arm towards the opposite side so this is a straight angle again see this arrow part this arm has moved from your till your and now this is a straight angle next base arm is also your second arm is also your and there is no arrow given over your at the point 
means zero angle. Now see, this two look similar, but only difference is your this information is given. Means base arm is your and second arm has completely rotated, has rotated fully and overlapped again. Means a 360 degree round has been completed. So this becomes complete angle. From this part, you will come to know whether an angle is zero angle or a complete angle. Nothing is given means it is zero angle. If this part is given, it means it is a complete angle. That's it. Question number four says, use a protractor to draw an acute angle, a right angle and an obtuse angle. For this, be ready with your protractor, pencil and scale. For question number 4, everyone has to use a protractor, pencil and scale. So grab it quickly, fast. Let's start with first one that is acute angle. First thing what we will be doing, we will be drawing base arm. We have already done this in 5th standard. After drawing base arm, I am taking protractor. You can use any degree, whichever you want. But remember, it should be less than 90 degree. I am keeping your... I am taking 60 degree. You all can take 70, 50, 40. Don't, do not forget to put arrow and a point. Now... Draw your this curve part. Since I have taken 60 degree, I will be writing your 60 degree. Also, don't forget to name angle A. I am naming at A as ABC. You all can name whichever letter you want. Now, here I am going to write measure angle ABC equals 60 degree. Therefore, angle ABC is an acute angle. So, we are done with our first diagram. Second is right angle. Again, we have to draw base. Now, using a protractor, we will be drawing 90 degree. Now remember, for 90 degree, we have to show box. Again, name it. I am naming as P, Q, R. Down, I am going to write measure angle P, Q, R equals 90 degree. Therefore, angle P, Q, R is a right angle. Lastly, last one is obtuse angle again, drawing base. Now for obtuse angle, it should be more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. I am taking here 120 degree. Again, draw this part and write your measurement. I am naming this angle as A X Y Z. Now down I am going to write measure angle X Y Z equal to 120 degree. Therefore, angle X Y Z is an acute angle. Yes. Now regarding this construction of angles, 
we have already done this part how to like which measurements we have to take for which side but still i will be uploading construction of angle video on seesaw app so kindly go through that still if you kids have any doubt in any of this practice set in any of this sum um, regarding this construction of angles you all can put in comment section thank you